So I thought I'd do a quick update on my um, coffee making technique. So, fill up the mug to the exact amount of water you want in there. Pour it into the kettle. There's my sieve, I had to, I had to buy a new one. So instead of tearing, instead of tearing apart the um, filter, I've learned that it's much easier to to just kind of shape it with your knuckles inside the sieve, which which actually makes makes this new sieve that I bought better because it's it's solid. I can actually put some force against it. Now it's it's I ended up buying these small ones, but it's actually better. It's easier if you just stick to the normal size ones, a bit a bit bigger. But yeah, you just kind of shape filter in there like that and then pour in the coffee and it's a lot easier to use these clip things because obviously you don't you don't have containers when you're traveling around but I prefer it anyway I think even if I lived in a house I'd prefer to do that because I don't I don't like having things that get dirty this way it's all just it's all thrown away at the end no faffing around with a uh, container that you have to clean every now and again you see in there so just pour the coffee in there and flip me back on there put the hot water in there to keep to warm up the mug to make it uh, keep it hot enough boom 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 that's probably long enough I can feel the heat at the top of the mug get it back up to the boiling point Give it a few seconds to stop boiling vociferously. Is that a word? Vociferously? Obviously, all of this is a lot easier when you have two hands and you're not trying to put a show a camera. Now, I've, I've worked out that it's actually important to not do it too gently because what happens if you do it too gently is well what happens if you fill it up fully is it kind of leaves a dent in the middle and so you're getting absorbed absorption the water is absorbing through around the whole sides as well so this is why it's better to have the larger filters because it all kind of goes in on itself um, and what happens is if you don't have the coffee all around the edges there which you get by filling it up fully quickly. Um, it just takes too long for the water to go through, and by the time by the time you've put all the water through, it's too cold. Doesn't it? Doesn't last. Uh, although I, actually, I think a lot of that is determined by the the uh, ground as well. If I think if it's too fine, it takes too long. So as you can see, yeah, I've said it already, but it's just annoying. These smaller ones are annoying. I'm going to go back to the bigger ones next time. I thought it'd be nice to have um, something less, something more compact, but I'd rather not. And I normally don't sit and stare at it like this. I normally just fill it, I normally just fill the filter with water, look at my computer for 30 seconds and then come back. So it's not as um it's not as much of a ordeal as it seems here. That was quite quick, wasn't it? Done. And then dump it. And then. And this is another refinement of the process. I don't even have to dirty a uh, teaspoon. I just use that to stir it. And there we have it. A nice cup of coffee mess and then just put it in the sink for cleaning. 
And that is what I love about this method. That's all you have to clean compared to a coffee machine that can, like, gains a load of lime scale and you have to clean it out all the time. This is just so much easier than having even a machine. I don't, I don't, I don't even think I would do it differently if I was sort of static in one place. I think I'd still make my coffee this way and I prefer the taste of it as well. Alright, that's it then. Thank you. Goodbye.